The Android Wear platform is flexible enough to allow your app to display information to the user whenever it's useful. Now, this includes sharing fitness information, travel updates, or to-do lists for as long as the user might need them. However, doing this in the usual fashion means keeping the screen on full brightness and providing constant updates. This can have a big impact on battery life. But with Always On, your app can present useful information while the watch is in ambient mode, keeping your user informed while also saving precious power. Hi, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is a quick introduction to keeping your Android Wear app always on. Android Wear operates in two primary states, interactive and ambient. When in interactive mode, the watch can display full color with fluid animation and can respond to user interactivity. This is typically when the user is giving focused attention to their watch. Ambient mode is a low power state that uses a limited color palette and is updated less frequently. This is the typical state for the watch while the user goes about their day. Always On simply allows your app to stay in the foreground while the watch is in ambient mode. And think of it like this. Your user is in the grocery store and loads your app to get their shopping list. They see they need milk and head to the dairy aisle. After a few moments, the watch goes into ambient mode. Previously, your app would have closed and the watch face would take the foreground. However, now that you've implemented Always On, you get to continue displaying relevant information to the user. It's the best of both worlds. The user gets to continue using your app while also maintaining battery life. Before we dive into the API specifics, let's look at a few quick design considerations. The update frequency you choose can be the difference between a great experience and losing any power saving value Always On has to offer. Although you can choose any frequency between say 10 and 60 seconds, the default is 60 and you should only change it if your app needs it to be useful. For example, a shopping app is fine at the default, whereas most fitness apps will want to update more frequently. Another important battery life consideration is how many pixels you light up and what color you use. More pixels means more power. You should use grayscale colors and keep around 95% of the screen black. This is especially important to prevent burn-in for OLED screens, but also signals to the user that they're actually in ambient mode and they'll need to wake up the watch before they can interact with it. It's also important to avoid presenting any buttons or other interactive elements when the watch is in ambient mode. Touching the screen will actually bring the user back to interactive mode. It won't trigger the button. One last thing. Consider the user's privacy when displaying data in ambient mode. For example, Keeping a messaging app on the screen could be convenient for a user who is in an ongoing conversation, but displaying personal messages on the screen for an extended period of time might bother some users. Consider removing potentially private data after a short period of being in ambient mode, or refrain from showing sensitive data in ambient mode at all. Adding always on to your app is simply a task of implementing a different view mode. Here are the four primary things you gotta do to set it up. You currently need API level 22 or higher, or level 20 and up if you plan to support backwards compatibility. Make sure you have these dependencies in your Gradle build file, add the wearable shared library in the wearable app manifest, and add the wake lock permission to the handheld and wearable app manifests. That's it, now you're ready to start coding. You'll want to create the always on activity. It should extend wearable activity. In the onCreate method of this activity, call set ambient enabled. When the watch switches to ambient mode, the system calls the onEnterAmbient method. Override this method to update your UI to a more basic view. Don't move anything around. You'll want to keep the same layout, but you'll transform into a limited color palette, stop using anti-aliasing, and remove interactive controls such as buttons and so on. When the user taps the screen or brings up their wrist, the activity switches from ambient to interactive mode and the system calls the on exit ambient method. Here you can switch back to your full color interactive layout. While the activity is in ambient mode, the system will periodically call on update ambient. The default is once every minute, though you can create an alarm manager to update the screen more frequently. You might do this for a running app that displays the elapsed runtime or current pace. 
However, to realize the battery saving benefits of ambient mode, avoid updating the screen more than once every 10 seconds. Take a look at the documentation for more details and sample code for building great always-on experiences. Remember, the user experience you build for Wear gets to take advantage of the power and flexibility of the Android platform, along with some special functionality just for the wearable experience. It's easy to get started and possible to create truly groundbreaking UI for your users, giving them an experience that they want, when they want, whether that's in interactive mode or just a glance at the ambient screen. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I look forward to seeing your app always on.